meteorologist Grant Skinner with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, absolutely no complaints uh, in the weather department. <laughs> it's just absolutely beautiful outside. Of course, we had some nuisance showers uh, later in the day yesterday. Those eventually moved out. Then this front sweeped through. It brought with it the cloud cover, and now the views are just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to step back and just let you take a look at all these. So here's our WKRG News 5 camera. Stunning skies there. No clouds in sight. Grand Hotel at Point Clear. GMC camera. Also, definitely no complaints there. It's 55 degrees. Dew point starting to drop off. Over in Pensacola, some extra cloud cover left over. Of course, sunset's a little bit earlier there, so not seeing the beautiful colors there right now, but temperatures are mild in the mid 50s and will continue to cool off into tonight. Very mild across the entire viewing area. 53 over in Milton, 54 in Atmore, 56 in Jackson, 55 in Leakesville. If you're in Pascagoula, it's 57 degrees. Up in Grove Hill, it's 56 and the skycast this evening. We'll see a couple of clouds left over, mainly in northwest Florida. The bulk of them have moved out low 50s by 9 p.m. We're going to have a northwest wind that will eventually turn to a north wind into tomorrow, but forecast lows will be seasonable but cool into tonight. Low 40s uh, in our northern spots around the mid 40s closer to the coastline. 46 overnight in Pensacola, 42 in Loosedale, 40 in Leakesville, 41 in Jackson and 41 degrees in Bruton, Alabama. There's no chance that you'll need the Green and Phillips umbrella into tomorrow. Thanks to that dry air that's already moved in. Shouldn't see really any cloud cover. Clear skies throughout the day, right around 60 degrees by 2 p.m. We'll still get seasonable into tomorrow in the low 60s. That's going to be ahead of a cold front that will bring in some even cooler temperatures. Take a look at the News 5 predictor. So some extra clouds still moving out into tonight. We have northwest winds for now. Not seeing any clouds throughout much of the day tomorrow. That's 10 a.m. But then into later on in the day, you see we switch to a north wind. And that's going to bring in some cooler and drier air. That's as that cold front continues to sink south. It's our next system. It's a trough that moves through our area. And that's going to bring some chilly conditions for Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and Thursday morning, and some cooler highs as well, mid 50s through Wednesday, and then we'll gradually warm up there, but still gonna have some chilly temperatures on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning. Really watching Tuesday morning because this continues to trend cooler. Our northern spots likely gonna be in the upper 20s, and with a north wind that's gonna stay a little bit breezy. Those wind chills will likely be in the 20s, so it's going to be a chilly, chilly morning. The moisture forecast shows the dry air that moves in behind that cold front. No rain for the work week, which will be absolutely wonderful. But then into the end of the week, we see some changes. You see this moisture starting to move in from back off west. Yeah, that's an area of low pressure that will develop offshore, bring us a chance for showers. And it looks like that will be that will come on Christmas Eve. Again, we might see some timing changes here over the next several days, but overall it looks like our next rain chance will come on Christmas Eve. So I'm leaving in a 30% chance for showers, possibly a few storms then. 10% chance for rain Saturday as that system approaches. Overall, though, dry for much of the next work week with some cool temperatures on the way.